I sign the promotion number 1081, placing the entire Philippines under martial law. Placing the entire Philippines under martial law. 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 Dekada si Tenta by Luwalhati Bautista is about uh, a family, a middle-class family, living in the 1970s onwards. And in particular, it's about the mother, Amanda Bartolome, how she realizes her position in the family and in society. It's about her husband, um, Julian Bartolome, how he asserts patriarchy in, in, in the household. And it's also about the children, the five children, Amanda's five boys, and how individually they realize their positions or what, should, what they should do, especially when, when they are needed by the country. It's such a popular and important work. It has touched the lives of many people. So, and, and the baggage and the pressure for you, of course, first to deliver. What if pangit yung kalalabasan? Or what if mali yung kalalabasan? Then it's such a disservice, not only to Mamlu Walhati, but also to, the his, to history. So when you see a person on stage alive and breathing and exuding that energy, there is that communion between the actor and the audience. There's that consummation that, make, that makes it powerful, primal, uh, human. And I think, I think in a time where there's way too much technology and also the breaking down of dialogue and conversation, the theater provides that 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 pag-uusap or pagkakapwa tao that um, I think we are losing right now. So there are heroes um, forgotten or now they're being revised or erased heroes during the time. Um, uh, with their own words being used. We must create a play that can talk to the young. High school, grade school, college, um, maagang nagkatrabaho, who are prone to historical revisionism na nangyayari sa internet, sa pamilya, sa eskwelahan, in their communities. How do we talk to them? And that's also how we devise the play. Na, yes, it's uh, Dekada Setenta, it's the 70s, but sabi ko, we cannot make it nostalgic. So, in particular, that's where the music shines. They're drawn with, with the sound, and then later on with the lyrics, and then late now with, with the performance, and then with, with the narrative, and then with the purpose of the play. Yung tema ng mga kanta, um, tema ng mga, uh, ng mga salita, it's always about sigaw. It's about finding your voice too. Finding your voice in this, finding your voice and speaking up and fighting, fighting for, for what you believe in and what is right in these troubling times. Muling <laughs>
Nandito ako, kumain sa iyong harapan. Yakapin mo ng mag-